most tourists have positive attitudes towards the environment. They don't want to behave in ways that contribute to climate change and pollution. Yet, when on holiday, they do just that. Why? We interviewed environmental volunteers because we knew they had strong pro-environmental beliefs and we expected they would display the most environmentally sustainable vacation behaviors. The volunteers felt strongly that action was needed to prevent climate change and pollution. They were also aware that tourism contributes to climate change and pollution. Yet, they displayed environmentally unsustainable holiday behaviors. They felt guilty about the misalignment of their beliefs and their vacation behaviors. But they did not try to reduce guilt by changing behavior. Instead, they used justifications, excuses, to realign their beliefs with their behaviors. Excuses fall into six groups. Group one, denial of consequences. People argue that specific types of holidays are not harmful or that tourism generally is not that bad. Group two, downward comparison. Tourists convince themselves that their behavior is not that bad compared to how bad it could be or compared to how bad the behavior of other tourists is. Group three, not my responsibility. People express that others are responsible for the sustainability of tourism, not them. Group four, denial of control. Tourists have no control over the environmental impact of their holiday, they argue, because they cannot afford sustainable holidays or because they cannot find environmental impact information. Group five, exception handling. People view vacations as a very special time, a time out from their usual life. During this time out, they give themselves permission to behave less responsibly. Group six, compensation through benefits. The key argument here is that the benefits tourism brings to residents, communities and countries outweighs its negative environmental consequences. Understanding these excuses is really important. If we can manage to counter-argue them, tourists may have no option but to adjust their behavior to reduce the guilt they feel about their attitude-behavior gap.